delete. Hmm. All right, and let's draw. Okay, so on the side of, we're seeing a little bit of a different set. Oh, we are seeing quite a different setup here. On the side of QQ7, we are seeing four DDs again. Double Shima, Harugamo, Kleber, then a Goliath, Des Moines, Moskva, Montana, Yamato. So quite an interesting group of ships. On the side of PN, you've got Daring, Gearing, Kleber, Double Moskva, Venezia, Des Moines, Montana, Shiki. I'm I'm actually enjoying Montana Shiki as a yeah. um, battleship combo. It is. And interestingly enough, I'm looking, I see that they've moved boy IKR into the Venezia. So he's no longer in the Harugamo. So is the, I wonder if that's a change due to what's happened in the first two games or if that's a set strap for this map. I'm going to assume it's a set strap for this map. Anyway, Kleber of uh, Triarch is going straight to the middle. Shimikaze is heading down towards sea along with the Des Moines. Um, and Pos Harugamo, I'm not sure where he's going yet, and the Shimikaze of Duke is heading towards A. Yamato of Christopher Al Ailson is help heading towards C. Montana of Polarberg is heading towards uh, A, and we'll have to see where everything else goes. Looks like the Goliath is also heading towards A. He might be end up... I wouldn't be surprised to see the Goliath sitting on that island at D5 or something since he's got so much healing potential, but we'll have to keep an eye out on it. On the side of PN, you've got Kleber making a B line directly towards C, trying to cap it early. And it looks like he's going to get the early advantage there with a Des Moines to, in tow. The Daring is again going to go 1v1 uh, in B. Looks like Mosca and Shiki are also heading in the direction of C. So you've got Masova, Venezia, Montana, and Gearing heading towards A. And I like the Venezia pick here, especially in a 4 versus a 4 DD comp. Yeah, Clever's definitely going to... So their Clever, I think, is going to be able to quick cap B. But PN's Clever is going to be able to quick cap C. But he's going to have yeah. a whole host of people to deal with. Yeah, now this is going to be interesting. we got to keep an eye. So the Daring's going in on the corner. Unusual position for the Daring to go in. Because usually we see a uh, ship coming from the Bravo spawn coming on the other side of that island. But he's not. We'll have to keep. Also, it is a massive force heading right now to sea for QQ7. You've got Harugamo, Shimikaze, Des Moines, Moskva, Yamato. Now, we might see the Moskva turn around here and lock in on the edge of the E7 island, but right now, that is a lock massive clever, set. Lock oh, clever, yeah, this is going to be an interesting clever. one. Des Moines he in a prime position. Fight. Yeah, Des Moines. Nope, he's just Torpen. I'm going to say Des Moines is in a prime position to shoot if that Kleber tries to open up at all. Well, and where that Kleber is at, they know exactly where the Daring is the moment oh, he hits the cap. And the Des Moines has not successfully radared yet. How? Oh, he's got him now. Oh, and oh, the Des Moines takes a shot. Oh, Yami nails him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they force the Kleber back, but they know where the Kleber is. Um, and Montana's cross shot the Des Moines. Mm -hmm. Oh, Another 5K down. Yeah, that Des Moines, Kaiser Wilhelm Thel is not in a good spot right now to keep an eye on that. And the Moskva's radar the Kleber out. He's not going to be able to cap C. So early yep. early lead to QQ7. And it looks like Montana is going to be shooting at this Des Moines again. And not much to be said about it. Yami and Montana both shooting at him. He's in a world of hurt. We'll fall these shells in. Oh, I those like shells these are from just wide. Now... Let's talk about A for a second. I mean, C is going to have a hard push here we're about to see, but let's talk about A after I watch these shikish shots in on the Montana. Well, and while you're doing that, Clever yeah. already down 7K health with no damage. Yeah. So over at A, <laughs> the trend. Th we've got two teams pushing on both sides. G uh, mm. G um. Sorry. Um, blah. Gearing is in a very good position now. He's got that. The Shimikaze can't fight the Gearing, and they do have A, so they can hold that. But we're going to have to see what happens, because it, it, it's a tale of two sides. There's a hard push from A that's going to go on from PN side. There's a hard push at C from QQ7s, and the Kleber just gets chunked again. What is this Kleber doing? <sighs> he's open water gunboating now. And he's... He does <sighs> hit the Harugamo, but... You've lost half your health for very little gain here. I genuinely don't see the gain you've gotten this. 
So this is twice we've seen this. At a certain point in time, you have to like you. You've got to smoke. You're being spotted. Well, you've been raided. Smoke. No, no, no. Uh, you're seeing the smoke from the Harunga oh, Meld. Yeah. You don't know what it is. Yeah. You know you're outnumbered here mm -hmm. because you only have three ships and you're still engaging. I just I don't understand it. Yeah. Um, that being said, we are seeing, just looking over here. Des Moines are, just narrowly missing those torps. Yeah, we are seeing the push starting to happen today. Look, they are hard pushing. The Venezzi is smoking himself up. He'll get to that island. Um, we'll have to watch and see what happens here. Montana of UC, uh, Juicy, UC is getting hurt. Jussie, sorry, Jussie, that's right. Jussie, black, can't speak. Montana of Jussie. Yeah, and the, and Polarberg has beautiful angles and on him Kleber is Another spotted jump. again by the shimmer and he's having to turn out i mean wh when are you gonna learn your lesson uh oh des moines has got beautiful shots on the side of the montana he's uh he is chunking this montana he chunked this montana once already it looks like he lost the sots oh but he has the shots on the daring now, or the Kleber now he had the guns ready he gets one set on the Kleber. 2k off of him in return for a radar Got to watch out for those torps. Um, yeah, he just Trier keeps wanting to put those torps there, and they're yeah. Kaiser Wilhelm is just out of reach every single now, time. What we have to watch here is which push is going to be quicker, because looking at a, this is a pretty quick push coming out here from oh from the side of uh, PN, and I thought those shells from the Venezia were just behind the Goliath. Otherwise, he is hurting because that was a full AP salvo. But the Shimakazi's also, we missed it. The Shimakazi took 12k damage, I, probably from the gearing. But, I mean, which push is going to be quicker, is the question. I would say probably from the Venezia, to be honest with I, you. I would think Goliath, so as well. Goliath's got Hydro up. Montana's taking a Torp here. Down to 34,000. And he's fairly broadside to Polarberg if he turns his guns and takes a shot yeah. at him. On the side of QQ7, both battleships are kind of together there. The only reason they're unable to wrap around is 6 A's Moskva is doing a good job containing them, but they're going to be able to fire through the middle, yeah. and Kleber now now spotted by the Kleber. No, he was a radar. That was a radar by the Oh, Moskva. he's radar? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, a shot's out on the Goliath. Let's see what happens here. And the gearing's about to find... 5k off the Goliath. Gearing should find that Shima any second. They are... Vanessa taking yeah, shots they at are, the Goliath? They are just... Oh, get ready. They're going We're for him. We're about to have a fight gearing Shima. Uh, nope, it looks like they just left. missed. They yeah, just if he turns missed left. each other. So, looking here... Um, okay, so Moskva is well, taking take, shots. Take a look at... Take a look at... And Kleber is now in a gunfight with the Kleber. Mm -hmm. Kleber is not going to win that fight. Which Kleber? Well, you know. I got my money on the Kleber. Uh, so do I. But and actually, the Moskva is putting the shots over onto him now, so that is going to hurt. Triarch is in an awkward spot. Uh, Venezia misses the shells, but Triarch's got to duck back in because now with the Venezia pushing, that that Kleber is going to be in a world of hurt here pretty soon. Well, if he pushes oh, wait, forward... Look, yeah, look what about, what's about to happen if the Kleber pushes forward anymore. Well, look at the Masva, though. Masva is coming through the center. They're about yeah. to pincer Dyeric, and he doesn't realize oh, it. Des Moines? Okay, those shots miss. Yeah. Oh, and Montana's taking cheeky shots at Kaiser Wilhelm. Oh, they, He's they just radar the Moskva, so they know where the Moskva is now. We got to watch this. We got to watch this. So where does the play happen now? This is a razor-tight game. Well, I'm liking what QQ7 is doing at the moment. I am loving it as well. This is a very strong push. Because the Des Moines is now in a spot where he's got a Hrugamo and Shima behind him. He's got, he, he can't push up because he's got a Moskva sitting there in the middle. And the Daring's pinched. He can't move. The Clever mm -hmm. has 1,000 HP because reasons. Mm -hmm. The uh, 6A stuck on the mm -hmm. corner. But if, if the Yami and, and uh, there's Hrugamo smoking up and yep. hitting the Des Moines, the Shima spotting him. Yep, it's brilliant. It's, it brilliant is, it, it's a very strong position they're in. It is a very strong position for QQ7. So Neruvo has to, he's got to do something here. And there's nothing stopping him from moving forward besides this Montana. So yeah. they, 
they need to do something about this Montana. And if this Montana is about to take the shots, oh, only 8K. He's going to say Montana was taking shots. If that had chunked him, that would have been good. Yeah, but Naruvo does need to push forward. Is he in range that he could radar? Uh, he would be just in range, but he is backing up. He would be just in range right. of radaring the Colbert. Des Moines ran, and the Moscova actually backed up, but the Montana sees it taking shots at Kaiser Wilhelm. Mm. These look distant. He overshoot him. Yep. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wait. Last gun. Last gun. He hits oh. them there with a big hit. Oh, and there's the Des Moines. Yeah, that this Des Moines in. Uh, this Venetian <laughs> needs to curve in. Boy, it, it, being down the one line, he's way too far out right now. Yeah, what? It, what? The only thing you can shoot at is Shima Goliath, and I mean this Montana's presence. Mm -hmm. He's got the Moskva scared. He's got the the Venezia scared. Yep, and there goes the Kleber. There goes the Des Moines. Oh, Quick wow. change. The, the health differential is not that massive, but I mean, just. I mean, even with that shot, the Daring doesn't win. The Daring's in a world of trouble right now. The Kleber should come out and just gunboat him down. Yep. And I mean, this all stems from the Kleber just eating damage. He's yeah, the, the, I just agree. Eating I agree. Over and over again, eating damage. Mm -hmm. I don't think the Kleber pick has been working out like PN wants it to. Yeah, I, it, it's been the visible. The, here comes the. I'm watching this Kleber just yeah. inch forward. Here comes. Oh, watch that. Shots and out I, on I the Shiki. Shots out on the Monty. I think once these torps go past him, that's going to yeah. be the cue for the Kleber to just pounce. That being said, look at the gearing now. Gearing of it's a game thing does have the angle on the Kleber's position. So he's putting shots oh, in. That... This is similar to what we saw in that uh, game we just cast earlier today from Bonks versus KSF with the gearing position. The difference is the gearing doesn't have anything that can punish him right now. Well, that's going to force the Kleber forward, and that means the daring. Yeah. Oh, man, the, the, the daring's... Daring, Backward. I think, still has a set of torps, honestly. He does. He does. And the uh, Kleber's engine is out. He's just slowly, but look at this. See, yeah. this is good DD play. Yeah, this is what this good is, DD play oh, looks torps like. Torps on the Montana. All of them are missing. Venezia has started to push across now. He is trying to chunk down the Goliath. Misses those shells. It's at 32, well, you got to you got to remember, BC is the consolidated points here. So yep. they've taken C. They can easily move over to B. They have islands to defend themselves coming in. And, and now PN has got to fight into also, B. Also, 6 is going to die soon. He's down to 18K, and it's not like he can do anything. He's on an island by himself just trying to run to the border. Yeah, I mean, you border hump at this point. Yep. So Shoot. they are moving the gearing of it's a game thing into this, uh, into the middle cap. This, they need to, from the side of PN, they need to pincer. Uh, this clever the clever from the clever's yeah. perspective though he gets one of the two and he's happy he gets one of the two he trades he's happy oh there's well, the radar and... there's the radar moskva's just radared them both of them are spotted so the clever's backing up uh-oh see ready for uh, the harugamo's got shots on diuric yeah god all of this pivoted from that that clever mm. all of it literally oh, I don't disagree Okay, Kleber gets out of there alive. Dyrurex forced out. The gearing of it's a game thing is down to 6,300, and I don't see how he gets out of this alive. And, oh, Kleber backed off. <laughs> Meanwhile, checking in on Border Watch 2021, uh, 15,000 health, so he's still alive, but the Des Moines is in smoke <laughs> and just chucking him down. <laughs> Border Watch. Uh, and Goliath is now opening up on the daring. Diurix is in a lot of trouble here, but he yeah. lived for a long amount of time. He just... I mean, he's done his job, but the Venezia, once again, forced out. He needs to get in towards the caps. Uh, oh, his, his job is to shoot at DDs. What DD is he shooting at? Yeah. He's shooting at Goliath. I mean, Gearing's down to 1,600. Montana's down to four, third, 31K. Oh, he just got chunked Mont by the Amato. Mont Tana just got nailed. I, I, it's a 50,000 health differential, but man, it feels bigger. Now, that being said, if the Montana kills the Goliath here, because that would be massive if the Montana kills the Goliath here. Doesn't look I like mean, he's going to, though. Nope. It, oh, wait, hold on. Goliath turn. Nope. Goliath takes only one shell. I was going to say, if that, because the Venezia needs to get in, and this probably is a dead Monty. 
Well, oh, and he gets lucky. The Masva of Nerovo, he's got a ton oh, of their and HP. There we go. Polar there goes... says good night. Yep. And the yep, Shikishima. Yep. Between the Shikishima and the Moskva, you're looking at about two thirds of their health on those two ships. Yeah, and we've seen this on on their losses before. I, I just by by the time you're able to wrap around C so convincingly. Yeah. I don't see how you win this. All right, Shiki's got shots on a broadside to Moin. 6A. Border Same. Watch may actually work. No. Nope. nope. Shiki misses. We'll have to see. So, but yeah, and the Goliath is uh, smoked up. He's uh, and he's super healing. Uh, if I'm so, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what the path is here to victory. I mean, QQ7's path is fairly off. Um, I mean, obvious. You just, you know, you focus live. them. Yeah, you yeah. Live. live. You live. You don't even have to pressure anymore. You win in two minutes because you force them out. Uh, make that minute 21 because uh, 6A goes down. I don't see the path back with a four-ship deficit. Oh, and Moscow that much just damage gets double on Moscow. Yep. Yeah, I don't see the path back. I have to question. I, I have to question the call, the Kleber gameplay style, and I have to question the Venezia being put that far on the flank and not coming into the middle to work the DDs. And, ooh, Moskva just dodges Torps. Is he going to try and drive by this Montana? I mean, if he drives by this Montana, it would be hilarious. There goes the gearing to the Shima. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. Montana says and no. And, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to game four and taking a two to one lead, it is. Q Q seven. I just gotta I stand by the statement, you gotta question the play there. The it was there's just taking risks you can't afford to take in a over. quarterfinals match. And over I mean 